Guardians, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something a little different for you guys and I hope you all enjoy it. But before jumping into that video, the emblem on the screen now, I'm giving away this week in this week's videos. All you have to enter in for this week's giveaway is simply be subscribed, share your support, like the video, and leave a comment down below on what's your favorite thing so far about Destiny 2. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's begin the video. Guardians, I have something special for you today, which is the Destiny 2 Collector's Edition box opening. I actually have been waiting to do this video for quite some time since Destiny 2 released. Literally on launch day I got this and I haven't been able to make the video ever since. So I've been so busy, now it's finally time to open it up. So this is what the box looks like with the casing off of it. This is the back of the casing itself. Pretty nice and standard, it tells you everything that's inside of it. And surprisingly inside this box there's a ton of stuff. So when you open it you are welcomed with this little styrofoam wrap just to protect everything on the inside. Pretty much take that off and you see a nice hard case for the game itself. Um, Cabal logo on the back of it and just a huge Destiny 2 logo. So it's nice and presentable. On top of that on the inside you ended up having stuff for the game itself for that digital download code for the cold heart and a couple other things. Then you have this Cabal book. This Cabal book was packed with a ton of other stuff as well, so this one is a little booklet with a ton of stuff on the inside. Everything enveloped in gold foil. It's actually really fancy looking, probably just because of the Cabal Emperor himself. But here you go, going through the entire thing. You actually see a couple of the Cabal themselves. You see a little bit of information about all the Cabal. I haven't read through all of it personally, but there's a couple of good details in there that I did read through. So if you actually have the Collector's Edition, take the time to read through the booklet sometime. On top of that, you have this really fancy, I would say, it, I don't even know, it's almost like a fabric paper. This paper is really, really fancy. It feels really weird. It feels like there's like a type of like wax over the top of it. And you'd have to hold it for yourself to actually understand what I mean. But it basically shows off details of the Leviathan Raid. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Moving on forward though, I was just more amazed by the way the paper felt more than anything. Then you have a couple of these detailed cards about the Leviathan Raid. So there's just several postcards and here it is, the one of the Leviathan Raid as a fish eating the world. And there's another one of the fancy concept art that they had at Bungie. And that was pretty cool. So, and we all know now that that is the Leviathan Raid. So, nothing of a surprise there. But those are both of them next to each other. Pretty awesome stuff. I was actually really impressed. And just the whole World Eater concept was great. The raid also, personally, one of my favorite raids of all time. Then you got this really cool coin. It was a hologram coin where it flipped through all of the different symbols of the Leviathan Raid. And I was wondering what that coin was for at first, but now that we know and we've been through the raid, I know exactly what it is. And then this is a sticker. Um, pretty much just a gold foil sticker with a little cabal design on it. And then you have the Titan, Hunter, and Warlock, I would say, Battle Pawns. It's kind of what the, what the cabal would use as showing off or mapping off their battle strategies. So they would actually use these to kind of map out where the Warlock is, where the Titan is, you know, where the Hunter is, and they would actually show off and be like, well, this is where the Guardians are stationed, we have to take them out, and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, so pretty interesting stuff there. And this one is the Hunter one. I actually prefer the Hunter one over the rest of them because the Hunter one is the largest of the three, and it kind of looks cool. So, moving from there, putting everything back in the booklet really quick, just so I can keep everything organized and situated. I don't want to get anything out of order, and I want to just make sure that everything is still in the book and presentable later. So, keeping everything in the box. No matter what it is, I'm keeping it in the box. I don't want to get rid of it at all. So, just making sure everything is flush and stuff. So, moving on though. Moving on, we have Hawthorne's weird gadget that she has on the back of her backpack. And it's just a silver structure. You can actually take the cap off and it will pull out a charging station. 
This is the first piece of the entire inside of this compartment. The charging station is only the one part and it allows you to charge your phone, it allows you to charge your tablet or whatever with solar power, which is really awesome. I mean, having solar panels is a pretty big deal because, you know, you're out in the survival, you're out in the EDZ, European Dead Zone. You need something to charge your cellular device, right? Well, this is what you would use. On top of that, there's two other compartments that will also represent two other items available in your survival kit. That will be a electric blanket, or not really an electric blanket, but a thermal blanket. So it's a solar blanket. Basically, you put it over you and you keep warm from your heat radiating and also from the sun's rays radiating off the surface. It looks like a metallic surface. It's nothing really fancy but it's there in the survival kit nonetheless so i don't know you bought a game but maybe you're going to be stranded out in the desert or you know in antarctica somewhere we have no idea moving on to the next compartment was going to be compartment number one or no number two compartment number two actually had a um it's the rope it's the survival rope it's the um really really tough durable rope that you can use to actually lift yourself out of say a hole that you fell in or maybe you're tying something up in a tree or something like that it is one of those fancy ropes that are used for survival purposes and it's packed nice and snug inside of this little compartment here and when you put all the compartments back together it just slides right back into that chrome metallic silver structure that has the Vanguard logo on it. And yes, Hawthorne's, uh, Hawthorne's triangular thing that she has does have the Vanguard logo on it. She actually received that before she escaped from the tower. She actually left the tower and she's been surviving on her own ever since with Devram K and a bunch of the other people from the farm. And that's basically her life story. So she didn't want to stay at the tower. She wanted to explore. And there is the Vanguard logo. Now, putting that back in its spot, we are moving on to the final piece. Probably the most expensive piece in this entire collector's edition, which is going to be Hawthorne's backpack slash satchel. It can be converted into a backpack, or you can keep it as a satchel. It's got a magnetic piece for that part. That part's not really actually important. It's got buttons for the rest of the stuff. It's got a pouch inside for a 15 inch to 16 inch laptop. It's also got a couple of pouches on the other side. And this pouch for the laptop itself was really durable. Was really impressed by it. This backpack was one of the most well made pieces I've ever received from Bungie themselves. So honestly, from their clothing, to their hats, to the little plushy engrams, to all the other stuff that I've bought from Bungie over the years. This is the most amazing piece of fabric slash handcrafted, I would say, amazingness that I've ever received from Bungie. Now, it's got a bunch of straps and stuff. All these straps are convertible into a backpack, just to let you note that. And we're just going to take this part off just to show you that the straps are pretty much customizable but that guardians is it really the backpack has three little straps on the top of it where you can actually slide that silver metallic piece inside which we will be doing in this video so hold on momentarily but really quick i just wanted to thank every single one of you for 38,000 subscribers working our way up to 39,000. if you're new to the channel and you want to see more destiny content here make sure to press that subscribe button hit the little bell and turn on notifications to get notified when i go live and as always, Guardians, stay violent, be privileged. I will see you all in the next episode. Oh, hi. DBG isn't here right now, but I guess you enjoyed the content. So over there is the logo you can click on. That will allow you to subscribe for content up there and behind the scenes daily content over here on the vlog channel. There you go. Enjoy!